so in this video i want to quickly introduce you to masking now um i have my solid and it's my background and i'm going to just lock this because i don't want to mess with this so i'm going to go to my footage and then go to my images then click and drag in your michael smooth on top of your background and i'm just going to close this up close this up i'm going to try and scale this all right let's see this i think this is good enough so what i want to do is i want to take out this man out of this image so how am i going to do that if you remember whenever you want to draw your shape you make sure you click out and then click on your shape too and start drawing your shape right but this time around for us to draw a mask and i'm pretty sure some of you must have experienced it is you click on the layer you want to mask out and then you start drawing can you see what's going on it's actually you know masking out using the shape that i selected which is a rectangle tool so and if you come straight to your image you can see that we have a mask here already there are different kinds of mode if you click on add we have subtract so this will def definitely do the opposite of that and you can actually check out the rest and see what it does but these are like the two major modes i'm making use of so i'm just going to leave it on add in short i'm just going to delete this if you have not explored the pen tool before now let me show you what it does so i'm going to click on the pen tool make sure i click out let me hide this let me change this to something that we can see now for pen tool you can easily draw a geometric shape by click by click and release 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 you can draw something funny with the pen tool right you can see this has sharp edge. edges now that's one let me scale this down let me take my move to and just scale this down what i'm doing is i'm clicking on the edge and then hold down shift right to scale proportionally so this is what i want put it on the side now i'm going to click out i want to try and draw another shape i'm going to try and draw the love icon so I'm going to click and then go to the side and click and drag. So if you click and drag, you try and draw something with a curve. So I'm going to come here and just click once, then click and drag, and then click here. And I have something like this. Of course, this is not perfect. You can now go to your move tool, making sure that the path are still there. You can alight and then adjust, alight and then adjust, right? Click then I just so uh, of course this is not this is not a this is not a perfect um, example of I'm pretty sure you guys will do a better job than I am right now but this is just to show you that you can actually draw custom shape with the with your pen tool now I'm going to delete this tool and now I've showed you what pen tool does I'm going to activate back my image and I'm going to try and draw mask using what I just did now. I'm going to do this very fast and there are some things you need to know along the way. I'm going to mention it and then we'll move on from there. I'm going to make sure I click my image, then click on my pen tool and then I'll zoom in using my middle mouse and then I will use my hand to adjust and then I'll start drawing the mask from here. So at this point, if I want to adjust this here, I can, after I've done clicking, I can just take this and do and then adjust it. Can you see? Let me zoom in some more. Right, let me zoom out a little bit. Again, I can drag this then adjust as well. If I say that this undo will make me not get the perfect shape that I want, I can hold down Alt and I can adjust this particular one. So as I've adjusted this now, I can click on this then to go from there. So I can go back and then just adjust this right and then make sure i click on this again before i can continue because if you don't do that let me undo that if i start drawing it start drawing on that mask so i'm going to undo that make sure i click on the last one and then i just continue drawing my mask so i've finally been able to create my mask and i can see see that there are some things that i can i will need to adjust so First of all, let me even change the color of my mask. So I can click on this color icon here and then change it to something that we can easily see, right? So yeah, that's how you change the color of your mask. Now I can see that there are some things here that I can adjust, there are some points here that I can adjust. So how do I do that? 
I go to my move tool, making sure the mask is still selected, then I light this, then I can just take this forward, right? And, and I think we pretty much captured our image here already. After all the adjustment, you can see that it's still yet not perfect, but I can, I think you can pardon me for that. One other thing I did was if you go to the mask, M is to activate the mask, then open, close and open it again, you can feather it. So feathering your mask just make the edge less sharp, right? You can, if I put it on zero, you can see that the edge are really, really sharp. Let me click out, are really, really sharp, right? But if I feather it a little bit, let me see, let me put three pixels, it will make it less sharpened. So that's how you create mask 